Greetings everyone. I wish to use this medium to lend my voice to the voices of all well-meaning sons and daughters of Igbo land and Nigeria in general to place a demand on federal government of Nigeria for the unconditional release of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, in the person of Mazen Nandekano. After the court ruling, he was discharged and acquitted and was meant to go home a free man. But fear of unknown made the federal government of Nigeria to withhold him not to worsen the insecurity thus to attend the forthcoming general election, which I believe it wouldn't have been so. Now, it is very loud and they constantly reporting to our hearing about his deteriorating health condition. My candidate advice to federal government of Nigeria is to release Mazen Nandekanu to save his life. He is very, very important to Ndibo and Nigeria at large. Just that we don't value such people with super intelligence in this part of the world. The structure of living in Africa nurture mostly criminals and the West most people with the core values. I advise federal government to attend to this clarion call to put an expunge to this huge loss of lives and property in the Southeast. No one can guarantee life of anyone because the gap between life and death is not up to a second. Life can slip out of our finger in a twinkling of an eye. A stitch in time saves nine. Let's make a hay while the sun shines. It will go down in history that I have contributed my own voice for the good of humanity in this part of the world. May God protect Mazen Namdekano. My name is Brother Paulo Chibo. God bless you. Share this video. History will remind us how far we have gone and where we are going. Nigeria as a nation had independence in 1st October 1960 and became a republic in 1963. Alahaji Tafawa became the prime minister. Why Dr. Nandi Aziki even became the president? Dr. Mikey Lombara was the premier Eastern region. Sir Amadou Bello was the premier Northern region. Chief S. L. Akintola was the premier Western region. Then Chief Dennis Osadebe was the premier Midwest. After independence, there was disintegration. Tribalism became the cause of our political kwashioko. There was a political instability till January 15, 1966. When the first military coup took place, led by Major General Atuku Makaduna Zogo and the other soldiers, they succeeded. Major General Johnson Agi Ironsi became the first military president on 29 July 1966. There was a counter coup led by Lieutenant Colonel Motala Mohammed and it was successful. Then Lieutenant Colonel Yakubu Gowon became the second military president. There was ethnic tension after the coup and the counter coup. That was the cause of a serious riot in the northern part of Nigeria between Christians and the Muslims in September 1966. During that period, there were a series of peace talks at Abirigana and the Kampala peace talk in Uganda. Yet there was no solution. On 27th May 1967, General Yakubu Gowon divided Nigeria into 12 states. Three days after the creation of states, that was on May 30th, 1967, Lieutenant Colonel Chukwemeka Adume Wojuku, the governor of Eastern Region, declared the Southeastern Region as independent state of Biafra. After several weeks, the civil war broke out. Nigerian civil war started on 6th July 1967 and it ended in 15 January 1970. Three bloody years, it was in the level history. Millions of people died, we are massacred. Property, what of billions of pounds we are damaged. This is not a political message. I recall some of the major points in history just to remind us where the journey started. Nobody is permitted to take any unlawful action after listening to this message. But this message is to focus our attention to God for forgiveness of sin. The best of all entertainment production. Agenda production.